gets me a little worried that I'm not supposed to do that. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Andrew Nine. You know, my name here is just Nine, just like the number. Um, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. I've lived in South Carolina all my life. I have never really gone outside. I've never really desired to live anywhere else. Um, when I was about four years old, I was uh, moved downtown to Columbia, and I was in a neighborhood called Lake Carolina. It's a very nice neighborhood, always nice. Probably the biggest suburb I've seen in my life. I've always imagined that that's probably the best place I could have had in my childhood. Um, unfortunately, my parents divorced when I was around 10 years old. Uh, and my mother remarried and moved closer down to the city of Columbia. Uh, there I met a whole bunch of friends um, that I couldn't ask. Uh, to have any better ones. I met a lot of them, uh, and they seemed like, at the very beginning in middle school, I couldn't possibly be with these, these people. They're so different. I had a great childhood in Lake Carolina, and I couldn't say goodbye to these friends. These people that I knew, they're not going to... These people that I do in my early neighborhood, in my childhood, I, I can't make any more other better friends. But then I actually went to the other high school, AC Flora, and I met other people that I would regret um, shunning away from them earlier uh, in high school. Uh, when I was in that high school, I distanced myself away from all of them. I wasn't ready to embrace other friends. I was very afraid of looking at other people and seeing them as they're going to be with the rest of the, be with me for the rest of my life. I'm going to know them, but there was just one of them that stood out. His name was Elizardo Sierra Mello. He, he was like a brother to me. Uh, he was always there for me. He was the first person to talk to me in middle school. Uh, I've known him for eight years now. And I couldn't have asked for a better person. He has always helped me. He helped me when I'm, my parents were having a rough time with the divorce. Uh, I really did not want to be there sometimes. I was even just calling him at night saying, you know, I'm not sure how, how much I can handle this situation. It was very hard for me. Um, and now that I'm here at the Citadel, it's very hard for me to actually be away from all this and not have him there all the time. I still call him sometimes, uh, but another thing that I learned here is that I'm going to have the same bond with a lot of the people here. And it was hard for me on matriculation day to look around and see my classmates as the same people that I will probably have the same bond with that I did with uh, El Zardo Sierra Mello. He didn't have the same things I did. He didn't grow up in a nice neighborhood like I did. He had, I remember the first time I went to his house. He was on a dirt road, way out in the woods, and I couldn't even find another house for miles. He had shared the same room with three of his, three of his brothers. Uh, ever since I was born, I always lived in a very nice house. And these are the different people you have to meet. Now, lately, we've seen like conflicts between other people from different backgrounds. Democrat, Republican, this election, people are trying to kill each other because of it. He is almost the complete opposite of what I am. He's a Democrat and I'm a Republican, but somehow we actually managed to be best friends. So how does that make sense? If there's one person that I have the best relationship with, he's my best friend, he's like my brother, but he's the total opposite of me, why can't those people out in the real world actually come together and talk. Now, I've always, I saw a video last night about the riot in Charlotte that was going on recently. And this man, he walked up to a riot police, police guards and he gave him a hug. And that was something you usually don't see that, see that much at all. And it made me pretty happy, but as soon as that happened, people viewed that he was supposed to be with the Black Lives Matter movement, said that they were going to kill him. They were, going to, they were threatening him. And it really rose that question up again. Why, would, why can't we just come together and actually talk to other people? Once we actually recognize each other as people, and, and instead of the backgrounds, then that's when we can actually make the bonds together and we can actually come together and talk about the issues and work something out. Because if I didn't actually try, or if Elazar did not actually try to talk to me, I would have pushed him away constantly. He would have never been the same person that I thought he would be now. He's my brother, but 
he's totally different from me. He lived in a horrible neighborhood. Every time he told me, like at night, you don't walk outside. During the evening, you don't walk outside. You have to stay in your house. But in my neighborhood, when I was growing up, that's the time where you'd go outside, you'd hang out with friends, you'd probably play at the park next door, you might even go around and see the pool in the middle of the day. But he didn't have all that. So when I see that video of two different people, one of them actually breaks that barrier. And I would imagine that that would be my best friend. That was Elizardo. He broke that barrier and he actually came to me when I needed him most. When I didn't even realize it. He was someone I had never met. He was someone that I didn't even trust because I trusted no one. But eventually we made that bond and we actually, he was the best friend I've had in my entire life. I couldn't, even in my old neighborhood in Lake Carolina, I couldn't ask for a better one. Right now, I always imagine what the, what the world would be like if we actually all did that. How much better this place would be if we actually came together and during this election, we realized that both candidates actually aren't the best uh, at doing everything that we think they, they are. Now, I'm still always trying to talk to my friends here, but it's very hard for me. Making that new relationship with other people, it's, it's very hard. I get frustrated easily, but I'm starting to slowly understand me here at the Citadel that that bond could easily bring the most happiness out of everyone's lives. I actually reach out like he did for me, I can make the best bond in the whole world. And that person right there can probably be my brother more than Elizardo can. Excuse me. But that's really my main point. If you reach out and you go beyond that background and you ignore what they actually have to do, what they actually do in their lives, and don't look at their skin color, you don't look at how they were raised, you don't look at what they say or what they look like, you get to actually go beyond what you think they could possibly be. They can be your brother instead of your enemy. So that's all I have.